Need LASIK? Trust the experienced team at the LASIK Center at Evergreen Eye Center. No glasses, no contacts, no limits. What will you do? LASIK at evergreen.com. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. When you go out on a first date with somebody, you never know if there's somebody else with you on that date. What? There could be somebody watching the entire time. Wait, someone that's not actually on the date with you? Or they could technically kind of be on the date. I don't get it. Now that you're <laughs> thoroughly confused, yeah. let's talk to Taryn, okay. who was on a date that she wasn't really invited to. What? Still don't get It'll it. It'll make sense. <laughs> Taryn, what's up? How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Good. Oh my God. Taryn, you just sound like a stalker yeah. right now. Really? <laughs> No, it's not like that. Yeah, that's what all stalkers say. <laughs> this might actually be the first time we're doing a second date update like this, Taryn. I'll go ahead and let you tell the story. So what do you want to do today with a second date update? So I'm a waitress at an Italian restaurant, and I was serving a guy who was on a date with someone else. But throughout the course of it, he is really, really nice. He was very sweet and, like, cool, calm, collected. And she was like a wannabe Kardashian. She was really rude. She was rude to me. She was snobby to him and everyone else around. And I'm kind of interested in him. Oh, my God. See? So Wait, you I'm kind not. of were on the date. Like, you never think about that, but your server is actually on your date, too. They're experiencing some oh, things with you. true. I just got to kind of experience their whole date. And I saw how everything was happening and, and just watching it happen between them. Wait, can you give us some of the highlights of their date before we move on to you getting a date with him? Honestly, I felt bad for him because he was being very nice to her and he was being very calm with her while she would just go on and on about herself. Anytime I came by or even walked by, she was talking about herself, talking about how amazing she is, talking about the men that she has, like, messaging her and texting wow. her. And <laughs> that it is sounded like up. she's trying to make him jealous. She even at one point said to him, she's like, I almost didn't go out with you. Like, I wasn't sure if you were good enough for me. Whoa, Whoa. she actually said that? She said that? Come on. I'm serious. And what, what was his reaction? Yeah, could you see his reaction? He just kind of chuckled, and he was like, oh, he's like, I hope you're having a good time. And she's like, oh, yeah, I totally am. And <laughs> hey, wait, are you sure, though, that he wasn't into it? Because although it's totally baffling to me, too, some guys like that. I mean, I, I don't really know, but just reading his body language, it, you know how like you can, you can see two people together, and you're like, one person is totally not in this, and they want yeah. out? That's what yeah. I kept getting the vibe of. of oh, like, my God. Oh. He's trying to be really nice. He's not a bad guy. And he doesn't want to just up and leave her, uh-huh. but he was also not into it. God, this must really? be the one of the best things about being a waitress is being able to eavesdrop on everybody's <laughs> dates. I mean, and get your own dates off of the whole thing, too. But <laughs> I mean, it does kind of help. I mean, you, you get to meet a lot of people that way. Yeah. yeah. I used to wait tables a lot, and I would love it when like, you'd get a couple who was in an argument. It was so oh, yeah. fun Awkward. to experience the awkwardness of going up to their table. <laughs> I know they weren't in an argument, but still, she was being pretty crappy to him. it sounds like. Yeah, she just talked about herself the whole time. She's very, extremely high maintenance yeah. and selfish. Did you have any interaction with him? I did. She at one point got up to go to the bathroom, so I kind of saw that as my moment to kind of go in and just oh. make sure, you know, I wasn't being creepy of like, hey, how are things going? Like with <laughs> her, it was, you know, is everything okay? How's dinner? You know, any drinks? And just... Kind of letting him know that I was, you know, there, supportive, trying to be low-key about it. Okay. All right. And did he seem interested? I don't know. You know, I just didn't want to do anything to jeopardize my job. Of course. Like, tell her off and be like, you get out of here. (laughs) Yeah. He is a sweet man, and you're being an (laughs) a-hole. That'd be so amazing. That would be awesome, actually. Oh, my God. uh, I just told my manager, you have to leave. (laughs) How did you get his phone number? Well, the restaurant I work in is more of a classier restaurant, so you do need to make reservations. So his number was in the reservations book. Okay, now, wait, I'm going to stop you because now you're the one that's being a little sketchy. Well, no, I'm not asking him to go out. I just want to know if he's even interested. Do you think he'll even remember you? Well, that's where I'm kind of hoping you guys can help me out to see if he does. Yeah, we'll probably have to jog his memory with the... Actual date he was on. What? So other than a wannabe Kardashian, how could I describe her when we call him? I mean, she's really high maintenance. She had her makeup 
super, super done. Her hair okay. was... Okay, but, but he might face. not think that, you know, because he was on yeah. a date with her. So <laughs> what, like, just color hair... Bio. Yeah, something real quick so I could be like, hey, she you went a on a date jerk. with this person. Do you That's remember? <laughs> um, she, uh, she was short, for sure. Okay. Um, uh, she had long blonde hair, but it wasn't all real. She obviously had extensions. <laughs> um, okay. The color didn't match perfectly, but it was blonde. All right. Um, <laughs> she had like a really tight green dress, but it it didn't fit the restaurant. It was kind of tacky. It was a little trashy looking. <laughs> okay. Like, so I'm gonna say, hey, do you remember going out with a uh, chick with really bad extensions and a tacky green dress at an Italian restaurant? He might remember that actually. I think it's a better, yeah. better description. Did he say anything to you when he left? Like you guys flirt at all? I'm not really sure. Like I, I, you know, thank them. I told them to have a great night, and he was like, "Thank you, you know, you too, you know, thanks so much." So it was. I mean, he made eye contact with me. Not everyone does that. So. Okay. Okay. So maybe is... he's into you. I mean, I know that this isn't the traditional way of doing things, but I figure give it a shot. Why not? Okay. okay. Cool. Okay. Well, we'll play a song and then come back and call him and see if we can get you a date in sort of a second date update. So crazy. All right. We'll do it next time. Bye, bye. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the mornings. Second date update. We're right in the middle of a second date update, and if you're just joining us, today's second date update is a little different. Mm -hmm. Taryn is on the phone, and she wants to call a dude. I don't. Mean, do we even know his? Hey, Taryn, do oh, we even know point. his name? Yeah, it's Steve. It was in the book. Okay, Steve. <laughs> it was in the book. So his name's Steve. Taryn was actually the waitress when Steve was on a date with another girl, and Taryn witnessed the other girl being kind of terrible to Steve. So after they left. She actually got his number from the reservation book and wants to call him and ask him out herself. Mm. So it's sort of a second date update since she was kind of on their date because she was the waitress, but not really. So yeah. this is going to be an interesting phone call for Steve. And do you want us to focus on the girl he was with or do you want us to just tell him that you waited on him and thought he was cute and want to ask him out? Um, I kind of want to just ignore that girl and <laughs> get past her. Okay. That's oh, really? a good idea. Now... What do you want us to say if he's totally creeped out that his waitress stole his number from the reservations book? I feel like he's cool enough to just, like, go with it and kind of feel it out and see where it goes. Yeah, you think that, oh. but you don't know him. Like, yeah, he's like, where's your manager? He didn't really yeah. have any conversations together. Well, I guess if it doesn't go well, then I can just lie and say he forgot something at the restaurant or something. Sure. Okay. 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 Yeah, we'll, Produce we'll, the umbrella out we'll, of somewhere. We'll see if we can figure out a lie for you if it doesn't work, but I'm going to call him right now, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Hello? Hi, is this Steve? Yes, who's this? Steve, what's up, man? How are you? This is Jubal from the radio show Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Okay. <laughs> have you ever heard of it before? Yeah. Oh, you have? Okay. Cool. Sweet. You ever awesome. listen? Uh, Sometimes. You ever hear of a second date update before? Uh, I'm not sure. Why are you calling me? So we do a segment on our show. It's called the second date update. That's where if you go out on a date with somebody and then they end up not calling you back after, you can email us and we'll get that person on the phone and ask what happened. Okay. So you're calling about a date that I went on? Yeah. You went out to an Italian place a little bit ago with a girl in a green dress, blonde girl, short. Naomi? I don't know if that's her name. I just was given the description. Is that is that her name? Naomi? That's who you went out with? Uh yeah, that's her name, but I'm I'm confused because we have a another date lined up. Yeah, no, that that makes sense to me. Won't make sense to you. But uh she <laughs> she's not the one who wanted us to call you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so why did we bring her up? I mean these are all this is weird. This is a weird one even for us. Yeah, I'm confused. I don't care what's happening. So when you went out with that Naomi girl, your server actually noticed you and thought that you were really cute and wanted us to call you. Okay. Do you, do you rem remember Wait, her? Do you remember her? That was a good laugh. Uh, kind of. Okay, so you know who we're talking about, the woman who served you that night when you were out on that other date. Yeah, I remember her. What okay, what did you think of her? Um, She was professional she was nice uh, i don't think she was very professional uh, I'm not i would argue with though. that did you think she was maybe cute uh 
I, I think so. I, I don't really remember I was on a date, so I wasn't really paying attention to the... Oh, oh you're one of those guys who pays attention to your date and Good isn't lusting man. after the waitress the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Loser. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I don't really get what the point of this is. Why, why are you asking me all these questions? Well, I'll just tell you, okay? So, Taryn, that's the name of your waitress that night. She thought you were attractive, and she wanted to meet you. Like outside of the restaurant? Yeah, like romantically. Okay. And she's actually on the phone right now listening to this conversation and wants to talk to you. She's on the phone now? Hey, Steve. Um, it's Taryn. Hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> Um, how's it going? <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> I know. I know it's super weird. <laughs> um, I just, I just wanted to get in contact with you. I wanted to reach out, so this is kind of the only way I could think of doing it. <laughs> oh my God, awkward. I, <laughs> um, do, do you remember me for real, or <laughs> are you just saying that? No, I remember you. Okay. <laughs> I just saw, like, the whole interaction uh, between you and your date that night, and I just, you just seemed like a really sweet and nice guy, and the way that she was acting um, just throughout the night seemed like her saying that she wasn't sure if you were good enough for her. I feel like you're way too good for her, and you deserve somebody who isn't completely high maintenance and into themselves 24-7. Whoa. Oh, you were really paying attention, huh? Well, I mean, yeah, it was, you know, you guys were one of my tables that I was taking care of, but it wasn't hard. I mean, you couldn't really ignore it. She was pretty loud about a lot of the things, especially when, like, her food came out, her pasta came out, and she sent it back twice because the first time it was too salty and then the second time it wasn't salty enough. It's just, <laughs> it's like she finds reasons to be difficult, uh, maybe she has like a diet thing with the pasta. I mean, I don't want to jump to any conclusions. She's just, I think she's just particular about certain things like that. About certain things. So wait, did you enjoy your date with Naomi, Steve? Yeah. Yeah, a lot. Well, you said you had another date set up, right? Yeah, we're hanging out next week. Oh. You're going out with her again after that whole debacle? <laughs> debacle? I mean, it, it was a first date, so... I thought it went pretty well. I mean, it's not going to be perfect for a first date. I mean, okay, like, I, I don't know you or anything, but just from the what I what I saw and what I do know of, of that time is that you're really nice, and no one should be treated the way that she was treating you through that entire dinner. You deserve way better than that. Well, thank you, but it, I think that you were just seeing it in a different way. She's, not, she's, she's a nice person. She is. Really? Yeah, Taryn, I don't. I thought you were gonna stay away from talking about his date. I mean, I'm. I'm sorry. I. I know. I said I wasn't going to do that, but I mean, she in the middle of this whole thing yelled out at him. Aren't you gay? Like, <laughs> what? Whoa. What do you see in this person? Whoa. <laughs> no, I mean, I dress really well. People make that mistake sometimes. So. Yeah, I, <laughs> so I'm you're. Nice, dude. Yeah. I wasn't offended. She doesn't. <laughs> Sound like she was very nice to you. She's sassy. She's like a big personality. She's just she's harmless. She has a big personality. She's super into herself. <laughs> Doesn't really care about anyone else around her unless they're giving her all of the attention. Uh, and I know that I'm I'm maybe stepping over my boundaries here, but I feel like somebody's got to step in and be like, "You gotta wake up, man!" Like. She is not right for you. She is not a good person, and you deserve <laughs> so much more than that, like 100% more than that. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> so wait, I'm confused. Does that ring true for you, Steve, or is Taryn just coming off like she's attacking your date and being kind of crazy? No, as I said, she is, has a big personality. I could see why someone would see that, but I'm kind of more of like a easygoing, laid-back kind of guy, so I... I'm kind of attracted to that in Naomi, I guess. So, I mean, I can understand on some level of like opposites attract, but you don't need to be completely put down by the other person in order to have that and you be really nice. I really think that you're a nice, sweet guy. You're really attractive. I just don't understand 
what you see in someone like her who is completely selfish and into themselves only. And I just, I wanted to do this super weird thing. I know it's like completely different, but I just wanted to give it a shot and see if you wanted to go out with me. Yeah. Steve, would you like to go out with Taryn on a first date? It's kind of a second date. Cause you didn't even know you were being watched while you were on your date, but uh, <laughs> would you like to go out with Taryn on a date? We'll pay for it. I mean, I will say, if you're into big personalities, Taryn's obviously one, too, because she See? called the radio station, <laughs> stole your number, and here we are. Hey, don't compare me to the other girl. We are nothing alike. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to help you. He likes the other girl, even though you don't, Taryn. Well, I mean, we've only gone on one day, and we're not exclusive or anything, so yeah. I would be open to a first date. Hey. So, yes. Okay. Is that a yes? I mean, as long as, as long as it's okay with her that I'm still going to be seeing Naomi, then I'm down. Okay. Well, Taryn, now you have a battle on your hands. Yeah. So you want to see if you can win Steve's heart from Naomi. How about we leave it at you go out on your date with her, and if you do so happen to change your mind, I'll leave my phone number with the station here, and you can call them and get my number. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, Steve, if you go out with, you know, the girl you were originally on a date with, Naomi, if you go out with her and she's a b- <laughs> which is what Taryn says, yeah. then you can call us and we'll give you Taryn's number and you can go out with Taryn. Okay. Steve, you know what? Go out with her one more time because I think that's all it's going to take for you to open your eyes and realize that she is not right for you. Oh, okay. Confident. All right. Wow. All right. You you are fiery, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Now all of a sudden oh you're God. interested, Steve. Hello, well, yes. we'll have Taryn's Good number here if you want to call us, all right? <laughs> okay, I'll uh, see how this goes, I guess. Okay, I'll be waiting for that phone call of you telling me, I told you so. <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning. I've been moving, calm, don't start no trouble with me.